Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing news when it comes to the PlayStation system as itself, because we actually did have a brand new PlayStation 5 system update with overall a few little changes, a few little overall kind of weird updates too as well for the actual console itself. And on top of that too, we also have a little bit more just kind of rough gaming news I want to go and show you guys, because there's been a little bit of gaming drama going on when it comes to Rockstar and GTA. We have a little bit more PlayStation Plus stuff, which has been confirmed and leaked, as well as also some little various stuff all throughout this actual video it's a little bit of a laid-back video because we had a little bit of a quieter day when it comes to all the restocks and everything else going on too as well so if you guys will all sit back relax and enjoy and of course if you guys always like these types of videos feel free to leave a like on the video itself subscribe for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console and controller Twitter into a stream as well. Link down below if you guys want to follow. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit one hundred dollars. You guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase. You guys go buy one hundred dollars worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. And of course, let's go dive in the video itself. So first and foremost, if you guys have not had a chance to go and see, there actually was a brand new little nifty PlayStation Five update. We had the actual even the PS Five bot itself go and push and publish stating. So I just pushed the PS5 update of 2102050000000000000. <laughs> it's always kind of funny whenever you go see these numbers and just how like obscene they are but what this actually was a brand new update that was just overall making the playstation system just a little bit more smoother a little bit more nicer and all that type of good stuff mixed on in which is now pretty much rolled on out so if you guys had a chance to see this update earlier on today or maybe you guys are just getting home or all that type of good stuff you guys can all be on the lookout for that but when it comes to this stuff too, for Sony's patch notes, there actually has been some intriguing stuff noting that it only makes the improvements to the system performance and then nothing pretty much else. This makes it the third system update now in a row, which is a little bit inconspicuous, a little bit kind of, we want to maybe look a little bit more into it because we've been hearing a few rumors on what it actually changed and what it actually updated, but overall, it actually just basically makes the system performance just a little bit more smoother, a little bit more laid back, and a little bit more chill, which is always very nice to go and see because you want a working console and as well, you also want a smoothly performing console to mix that in. The last major update too as well was a little while ago, which was in regards to the September basically SSD storage expansion, which I actually have had a lot of people go and ask about, question about, etc. So I'll 100% maybe make a video throughout that throughout this next upcoming week. I've had a lot of folks, and especially as you guys are trying to get your consoles, if you guys see that in your sub box, I actually would probably recommend checking it out. I'll make sure to do a bit more research and maybe even install it live for you guys, just so you guys can kind of have the rough idea of how to do it. Because I, I myself, I'm a little bit scared to go do it in general, but I want to be able to go and do it for myself. I don't mind being the test subject for you guys, so you guys can go be have no issues with your consoles whenever you guys do go get them i know a lot of you guys are still looking that's the main purpose of our channel so i'll keep on trying to help you guys go and get it as well we also did have a few other little various updates too for the previous september one which had like the 3d audio support and the tvs and all of that but kind of in some intriguing stuff some folks are actually noting that they actually might let people go and change up some of these different updates to basically go make sure that there's different types of like screenshot confirmations and notifications and basically toning down the annoyances of pop-ups but as well kind of a big one we kind of noted on before in regards to the random updates which this actually might have been in regards to that is the burner drive for the console so as you guys know maybe if you guys have ever had a computer as i just dropped my switch leave a like for that one <laughs> basically if you guys ever seen when it comes to all the consoles themselves we actually have a like that weird disk drive but sometimes the disk drive itself would actually go and like launch by itself so basically you'd have like nothing in it you turn on your computer turn on your playstation and then with that it would just be mindlessly running trying to read a disk that wasn't there so that would of course make your console run hotter a lot, a lot of like just needlessly white noise you don't really necessarily need and that actually might have been an issue that we've been seeing reported on because we also saw it with the youtube hdr update that also kind of got sneaked on in so it might be a combination of just basically making your playstation 5 quieter a little bit more efficient and kind of just do a little bit of these small changes as you guys can also see too as well with these new updates removing some of these actual kind of annoying ui bugs too as well so is the console itself never actually separated its os interface while the game was taking screenshots it just basically took another screenshot while the icon was displayed so then the icon would actually go and appear in the screenshot a very small weird issue but i think it was actually fixed too as well mixed done and we saw as of before so that might be in ties with the hdr updates and kind of just makes them like those little small quality of life updates may have actually been changed so kind of a nice little nifty little thing that's been confirmed throughout the day nothing major nothing cool but at least we have had a chance to go and see this mixed on in now the part two of this actually has been like an official from the playstation blog i usually do like to go and cover these on up mainly because it's just cool stuff a lot of you guys already had playstation plus in the first place 
But with all the restock news going on, it have a chance to. But with this, officially confirmed by PlayStation, the PlayStation Plus games for December, Godfall, Challenger Edition, LEGO DC Super Villains, and Mortal Shell. So these are all now the confirmed games that if you guys do have an active, like basically PlayStation Plus subscription going on, you have a chance to get Godfall, Mortal Shell, or DC Super Villains, uh, LEGO Super Villains over here. So we've actually had a little bit of controversy tied on in with this one because Godfall, Godfall was supposed to be the golden boy of the basically the consoles themselves, but a lot of folks out here, even when it was initially like announced slash leaked for these, a lot of folks are basically dogging on Godfall. Kind of somewhat rightfully so. The game was very cool. I did enjoy the experience. I thought it was a fun game. Very, very nice graphics. Although the gameplay did leave a lot to be desired. I actually did go beat the game. Actually, I even made some YouTube videos on Godfall about a year ago when the game first came out. But when it came to Godfall itself, graphically, very, very nice. But the weapons, very basic. The actual combat, very repetitive. The bosses, very, very easy if you've played the game. And overall, it just wasn't the best game out there. But... I think the game actually, I will go and say, I think the game had a little bit more of a bad rep to it. I actually enjoyed the experience. I enjoyed the play of it. I thought it was kind of cool. If you guys have a chance to go and download it and get it for free, on all honesty, it's probably worth going and picking on up. Although there's been some weird issues that it may not be the full game mixed on in. As you guys see, it's the Challenger Edition, so there might be some content left on out. We'll have to maybe go and see all available on December 7th when it fully comes on out. Mortal Shell, kind of a cool game. If you guys ever play like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, or hyped up for Elden Ring, kind of a similar vibe, similar style type game. Wasn't too bad, although there was a few game-breaking glitches again, which hopefully are all fixed up on the console. I played on PC. And of course, you can never go wrong with a good old Lego game. So make sure you guys do go and get all these up here. You have these until January 3rd to add all these titles. And there's also a few bonus PSVR games to be added as well. This will officially start as of Tuesday, December 7th, when it comes to the official PlayStation mention. A really quick mention on the PSVR games too as well, with the fifth anniversary of the PSVR. We have a few different games mixed on in, if you guys want to, until the actual third. So we have Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, the Persistence, and as well as Until You Fall, all available on PSVR. Make sure you guys go and use these and get these games for free. I'd probably at least recommend Godfall. The game was pretty cool and was the PS5 poster child for a while. On some other little gaming news too, we also had Dying Light. We actually have the official confirmation that Dying Light has gone gold. If you guys don't know what Gone Gold means, basically means the game is about to be able to go launch and has the possibility to go and launch with hopefully no major issues. They are confirming the release date for February 4th, coming out in the very near future. I'm like a little bit excited for this game, kind of excited to play this up on Twitch. If you guys are ever bored, you guys can always go hang out on the Twitch if you guys want to. And as well, some kind of intriguing news going on too when it comes to Rockstar. Rockstar now has officially delayed, and I think almost somewhat rightfully so, I'm sure you guys have heard just the massive, massive mess of what the GTA trilogy is. Basically has the delays for the GTA trilogy physical edition for the release dates. We actually have the official tweet going on from Rockstar as of November, November 30th. The release dates for the physical versions of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, have now officially changed. Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and PS4 will now release on December 17th with a little bit of a delay mixed on in. The Nintendo Switch version will be coming early. 2022 check your local retailer for availability and this also kind of goes and ties into with how bad the game is kind of ran there's been a lot of skepticism in the gaming community a lot of memes a lot of reddit posts where basically the games are well pretty much broken <laughs> it's 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 not been a good launch it's not been smooth there's been mass refunds one of the really really awfully reviewed games and although i had a really good fondness of these games back in the day when i was a little bit younger a lot of folks, even as they're replaying them, want their money back, wanted refunds, and overall just very, very disappointed in Rockstar and the game they outsource, or the company they outsource to make this game. So I would probably say be a little bit skeptical still. We didn't really cover up that drama too much because we were focused a lot more on the restocking news, but it was definitely big ones, and it's uh, not been good. The games, the bugs, the issues everywhere has been rough. And as also on top of this too, there actually has been an official update to Mixed On In, where they did go add a few more patches and a few other various things for the game itself. As of recently, there's actually been an official website posting for it. If you guys did pick up the game, you want to check it on out. There was a really big update for everything all Mixed On In. They had more stability improvements, cinematic cameras too as well. Uh, funny enough, even the misspellings and textures and stuff, which is just unacceptable in a game. How do you have massive amounts of misspellings in a proper game that's already been made beforehand too as well? And just you guys didn't even go through the list. Like there has been so many things of them fixing. 
which I am happy they're working on, and I'm happy they're trying to change that up, but I still would agree this was unacceptable at the start to go and see this. So I just want to give you guys a quick little update on all these random little PlayStation gaming news on the day, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch room as well, link down below, sign up for Weeble, deposit $100, you guys go get free stack, free money, Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, you guys go and get free Bitcoin. And as always, leave a comment down below or a like if you guys enjoy these types of videos in these kind of quicker formats. Love you guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow for some more brand new videos. Love you guys.